my fellow Zimbabweans, this is an update on what is happening in Zimbabwe. For the last 37 years, Robert Mugabe has been the president of the country. My name is Lumumba and I'm speaking to you today as a citizen. 48 hours ago, the military stepped in to help you. But right now, the military needs your help. There is a problem. Sadak has convened the chairman of Sadak, Jacob Zuma, has one problem on his hands. Whichever way you look at it, what's happening in Zimbabwe is a military intervention which they interpret into a military coup. So on Sunday, the 19th of November, Robert Mugabe will be back as president of Zimbabwe. Think about that for a second. On Sunday, the 19th of November, Robert Mugabe will be back as the president of Zimbabwe. It doesn't have to be that way. We have two options as the people of Zimbabwe now. Option one is we stop it and we prepare our country for a fresh start. Option two is we prepare to have him back. I've met with the chairman of the War Veterans Christmas Tango. He's here in South Africa with me. He will be announcing a press uh, statement tonight. They have our back. I've spoken to senior members of the military. They have our back. There is no police in the country. I would never irresponsibly send this message if I thought there were consequences attached to you. The world has never had its eyes on Zimbabwe like it has right now. So you listen to me and you listen to me good because this is not a drill. This is the real thing. On Saturday, the 18th of November, every Zimbabwean, find yourselves to the so-called Robert Mugabe Square. Find yourself there. Bring your flag. Carry it. Because on Saturday, we are going to make sure we support the military. They have done their part. I guarantee you with my life, the war veterans are behind us. I've spoken to senior leaders within ZANU-PF, the correct ZANU-PF. They're already mobilizing. I've spoken to Gongwe, the chairman of Harare province. I've spoken to the chairman of Mash Central, the chairman of Midden, the chairman of Mashingo. Zimbabweans, I need your help. In fact, the country needs your help. We cannot do this on our own. We've made a plan for all the buses to be available. These buses need fuel. If you have a relative and that relative lives in any rural area in Zimbabwe, send the money, tell them get a bus and go to Harare on Saturday. Because listen to me and listen to me good. If you're not there on Saturday, if Saturday takes place at Robert Mugabe Square and you are not there when we march to State House, then on Sunday, you prepare for Robert Mugabe and his wife to come back. I'm asking every white Zimbabwean, every black Zimbabwean, every mixed race Zimbabwean, as long as you bleed the blood of our motherland, I am asking you, I am begging you with my life, that it is time to shape a new government. It's the question of what happens next after you do this. We move into the transition that we all know we now need. The military is the custodian of the country's constitution. They have pre created and prepared the corridor that allows you and me to move. The military is not going to harm us. Zimbabweans, let me tell you this. The whole world is watching Zimbabwe. The whole world wants to know, will Zimbabweans step up or will we step out? The whole world is watching. If they attack us, the whole world is watching. If they don't attack us, we win. This is the one silver bullet the whole country has been waiting for. We need people to help with fuel. We need people to help with putting up placards. We need people to help with transport. If you see anybody carrying a flag on Saturday, we want every combi in the country to be free to, trans to transport people who are trying to get to the Robert Mugabe Square because on 18 November 2017, remember this day, this will be the day we finally liberated ourselves.